Hey guys, uh, I've been watching Gamescom things all the last two days, and I have a couple videos coming explaining, you know, everything. If you guys haven't seen it yet, anyways, so I watched Assassin's Creed Revelations Gamescom demo, and I have to say, it looks really good. It looks, yeah, it looks wow. Anyways, so I came across, most of you have, Altair's voice. Here you go, let me shut up. Mentor dies. You will not leave this place alive, traitor. No, you misunderstand. You know, it sounds so much different than Assassin's Creed, the first game. And at first I was like, okay. Why did they change the person? Right here, as on this video, you can say, you know, right there. What the F has happened to Altair's voice? And it's true. So, I was gonna, you know, ask Ubi Gabe on his Twitter and uh, Gabe Graziani, the community developer for Ubisoft, uh, specifically Assassin's Creed. Um, anyways, and so instead of like Twittering him and waiting for him to respond, I went online to Internet Movie Database, and if you didn't know, they have games. So, I went to this, Assassin's Creed Revelations, video game, 2011, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so, we have Ezio Auditori, played by Roger Craig Smith, which I knew that. But Altair, Philip Shabazz, click on him, I was like, okay. He's, you know, the voice of Valtair and Revelations, yeah. Went down a little bit more. There you go. Assassin's Creed, first game, he's Altair again. I don't know what they did, why they made him sound different, why they told him to record in a different way. Maybe, you know, it just came across that way. I don't know. But he sounds different. And I don't know, maybe a deliver after. Maybe that was just a recording because... Um, he was, he couldn't do the demo or something, but I don't know. I'll keep you posted, you know, doing a different video, if find out anything different. But he did do Altair in the first game. So that's good news. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Uh, yeah. Okay, bye.